Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and we're going to make some little notebooks today. Just some of those little um, notebooks. They're like staggered, and the papers are different sizes. I'm going to use up some of my paper scraps, and then I'm going to use up some of my scraps that I've got from the 12 by 12 papers that we've been cutting up. So, And I'm going to make these for the AJ kits. Hopefully, I will get enough made before the AJ kits go out so that I can put one of these in each one of your kits. I am planning on it anyway. They're, they're not hard to make, and they make up pretty quick. But today, what we're going to do is mass make some covers, and then we'll make some little pads, and then we may have to glue them in on another video, but that's what we're planning on doing today. Now, I'll make mine all different sizes. You don't have to have a particular size. You can use any size that you have. This one that I'm going to start out with is a little over 7 inches, and it's three and a half inches wide. Now, I don't like to go too much wider than that. And I, sometimes I don't even go that long. But um, I don't like to go too much wider than that because, you know, you use tons of paper if you do that. So, this, and then I went ahead and I folded over at, let's see where we folded. This is hard to see because it's so patterned. I folded at a, about an inch and a half, and then I went, I went on about a quarter of an inch and folded again so that it looks like that, and we'll have room for a nice little paper pad to sit up in there. Now, if you've got cardstock, you don't have to worry about putting anything on the back of this. This is going to be plenty thick enough. But if you're going to use some digitals, then I would definitely back it with a little piece of cardboard or something like that. This is some just thin chipboard that came out of a paper pack and if I've got any digitals that I want to use I will just back them with that. All right we're going to use this one. I'm just using like I said some scrap paper and I'm going to cut this down first. I'm just going to cut this one to three and a half as well. It just makes it a little bit easier when you start making your paper pads. And then we've got this little piece. You see, I had about the same. And we can make some smaller little paper pads out of that. So those will be going to use, so we don't have to worry about those wasting. Now, on this big piece, I think I'm going to cut it. Let's see. Let's cut it at three and a half. And then and this one will be a little bit shorter, and that will be fine. Cut it at three and a half. And then another three and a half. And then that can just go in my paper scraps. So we've got that one. Let's do this. This is a beautiful paper. This come out of Melina's stash. <laughs> she um she left some pieces over here, so I am grabbing them and using them. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut that at three and a half. We may have to cut that off a little bit, and that's fine too. Now, I'm just cutting mine at three and a half because it works out. This one, I'm actually going to cut at three because that works out better where that fold was. This paper already had a fold in it. So, you can cut them any size that you want. You can cut them wider. You can cut them narrower. It doesn't matter. See, that one's narrower than that one, but that's fine. I'm just going to cut up a few of these to start with and then we'll kind of get going from there. Don't know how many will get made. It's just one of those things that we'll just make until we get tired and then we'll do the rest of it on another video. Now this one you could make a little small one with, but I think I'll lay that one aside for now and we'll go on to something else. That one is pretty as, as is. Don't think we're going to have to do anything to that. The only thing is, looks like she cut it or tore it on the sides with that pretty deckle edge. So, I don't, I don't know. That may be her scissors because I don't think this edge tears like that. Let's see. Let's see what this one does. It may not do anything. That may be how she tore it, and then she may have cut it with a, a ruler or something. Yeah, I don't think she tore it. This doesn't tear very well. This has got a finish on it. It's like a, a shiny finish, so this doesn't tear very well. So what we will do then is we'll just trim those edges off. 
or at least I'll trim the one on the side off. I'm going to leave that one on the top. And that ruler works very well with regular paper to cut these or to tear that, but it does not work on this that's got that shiny finish and it's a little bit thicker. It doesn't work well on that. That's okay. We've got a three and a half one right there anyway, just by cutting that little piece off. Okay, I think that'll be enough to get us started real well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm using my score tool or scoring board just because it's hard. For, I can fold that one inch, but when it comes to that next one, the quarter inch from there, I can't really fold it without, without doing this. So just decide how much of a this one is seven inches so i'm going to go down to six and then i'll go to five and three quarters and that gives me my two folds there gives me my little one quarter inch top there you go and then i'm going to go ahead as i am cutting or scoring i'm going to go ahead and round these corners I think it looks better with the rounded corners, but you can leave them squared off if you want to. It doesn't matter. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this one. So this is basically what we're going to do first, and then after that, we'll start putting some things together. But this has to come first, doesn't it? Now this, I think, is going to be a little bit too long, so we'll cut this one off some. You see, that's quite long. That is... Ooh little over seven and a half inches so we'll probably cut that one off a little bit I'm just gonna leave it for right now and we'll worry about that in a little bit okay we'll score it there and right there all right now since this one's got that really pretty deckle edge right there I don't think I'm gonna round that let's see what this goes up to um, and I think I'm going to cut off a little bit of this at the bottom. I don't want that little pad quite that long. So let's just trim off about like that. That'll work. And I'll go ahead and round these corners. Okay. All right, this one's going to be a little bit shorter and that's fine. So let's see, let's score right there and right there. And like I said, these score lines can go in anywhere. You do not have to score like I'm scoring. You don't even have to score at all if you don't want to. You can just make up your little pads and put them on there and then just fold this top over your pads. I'm just trying to make it a little bit easier and a little bit quicker for myself. All right, let's do this one. Ooh, this one's really long, so I'm gonna cut this one off, and I think I'm gonna cut these off as well, because I really don't want those that, that long. That is quite long. And I'm just guessing at what I'm cutting it off at. I'm not, I'm not gonna measure it. I'll just save those for something else. They don't have to be the same length. Okay, and then I wanted to cut this one off too. So we'll go ahead and do that while I'm at it. I just kind of eyeball it and think, well, that looks pretty good. I think I'll cut it off there. And we will put these together different ways too. Some of them we may stitch. Some of them we may... Um, put some thread through like seam binding or something like that for the top to hold the pad on I don't know we'll put them together in different ways um, let's go down to six and five and three quarters all right I have just a couple more and then we'll start putting some together just wanted to get a few done up this way first and this is just some various papers, like I said, that I had. Melina had some in her stash, and then I had some in my stash. And these, this is a pattern paper, like cardstock, so it's, it's thicker than normal. And now what I want to do is I'm going to pull these back over. 
and I'm just going to start with one, doesn't matter which, and I'll drag me some paper up here. Now, you can cut all of your paper off and make a neat, neat, nice little notebook if you want. Or you can just tear them off at different lengths like I'm going to do and make a little notebook that way. It doesn't matter which way you do it. They're, I think they're both pretty. Some people don't like a torn look. They don't like jagged edges. They like everything to be kind of uniform. So there again, that is up to you. They'll, they'll go together the same way. Okay, I'm going to try to cut all of these at one time. These are just some scrap papers. It's like half sheets of um, printer paper that I've had. I save all of those. Like if I mess up on a print or something, I save all of that. And I just cut that old print off and I put it in my drawer. And then I use it for either stamping on or I use it for things like this to make little notebooks with. My son-in-law, was Brandon, was throwing these papers away one day. And I said, no, don't throw those papers away. He's like, what? They're scrap. They're already printed on. You can't do anything with them. I said, oh, yes, I can do something with them. I can. Okay. Now that I've got kind of a little template, I'm just going to grab some of these papers up. Now, this is a dyed paper. And... I'm just going to grab some of these papers up and trim them off. We'll use that in a shorter one maybe. This is a little dyed paper. I'm going to put a little of this in there. And this is folded already in the middle, so I'm just going to use that as like that. Just going to put it up there like that. Now, I'm not tearing these, but the next ones I probably will. These just happen to be kind of squared up already, so I'm just going to leave it that way. The next ones I may just tear around. So that's where you just kind of do what you, what you want to do. Do what you want to do. I think I want that Eiffel Tower on there if I can get it. I'm going to cut this little edge off right here. Then... Let's see. I'm just going to use this to measure with. I may lose just, well, let's see. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to lose that tippy top. I'll see what I need to do. I may have to cut the bottom off a little bit. And that's okay if I do. See, I've got, if I cut up here, I'll lose the tippy top. If I cut down here, I'll just lose some of that. And that's okay. Um, I'm just going to grab more of my scraps of dyed paper. I have quite a few of those. And when it gets about to the size that I think that I want, or about to the thickness, then I'll just glue these together. And make sure that you do have a nice clean edge on one end. You don't want both ends to be, you know, shaved off. You don't want both ends to be crooked. You gotta have one end that's nice and flat. That's gonna be the end that you're going to glue on. Oh, I cut the air up in here because I was cold. And after they left, I cut the air up because I was cold and now I'm hot. So I need to go turn it back down now. Um, let's see, maybe a couple more. I've also got some scraps of that that I will include. See, like on this one, I wouldn't let this be the top because that's got a jagged edge. I would make sure that I put this one up like this. Now, if you don't get one of these in your AJ kit, it's just the only reason is I just didn't have time to get them all made. But I plan on it. But you know how plans go. You know, we can plan all day long, but when it comes to reality, we might run out of time. And if I don't get them in this one, then we will definitely put them in the next AJ kit. That will be coming up. When will that be coming up? Let's see, June, July, August, September maybe? Or October? I'm not sure. 
All right, so that may be about thick enough. Now yeah, that's about thick enough right there. So that's about a quarter of an inch or a little bit less. You don't want it to be too much over a quarter because this is just a quarter of an inch and if you get it over that, then you're gonna have some problems. So I just kind of dry fit it and make sure they're all gonna fit in there. Looks like they are. I'll have a little bit at the bottom. Now I can either trim that off or leave it as is and I'll probably leave it as is. All right, you just need to make sure that you get this top nice and flush right there just like that you don't have to worry about the sides but you can flush those up too if you want to i just make sure that that top is nice and flush and then you're going to take your wet glue and i use art glitter glue i'm sure other glues will work i think somebody even said that that school glue would work but i've just always used art glitter glue on this and it works great so i don't want to change it up now you're going to put a bead of art glitter glue there and then you're just going to kind of press that in so that it gets into all of those little cracks and crevices there. And then I just go along and I wipe off anything that's, you know, come down the side. Then I put one more bead of glue on there. Okay. Then again, I just kind of go right down that side and wipe any of that off. Then I take my little clips. These are just little, these clips I got a long time ago. These you can get off of Amazon. They work the same way. You just need a clip that doesn't stick to your um, paper. You need one that's got a little bit of an opening like that. So we're going to... Let that go like that. I'm going to press that up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to trim this just a tiny bit because it's a little bit crooked down there. There we go. And then we can lay this one aside and that one will go with that one. So I'll lay it aside and let it dry. Now let's go ahead and grab more paper. Um, this paper is more scraps of the paper that I have had. It's just copy paper. So we're just going to, let me grab a different one. Let's try this one. I may just fold this like this. Just fold it back and forth and then just cut off my edge. And I'm going to go ahead and fold that one back too. And then I'll just cut that off. It doesn't matter. It's a little bit short, but who cares? Who cares? That first one is a little bit wide. Folded it a little wide, so I'll need to trim that one off anyway. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this in my trimmer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to trim just a tiny bit of that off. And instead of trying to go down the where I folded, you know, cut down that line, I'm just going to shave that little fold a little bit and that makes it a little bit easier because when I try to go down a score line like that and cut, I end up making a big mess. <laughs> Somehow I don't ever get it right on that line. So let's see if we can do this one. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Put it this way, Edith. All right. Now let's see how short we need this. And I'll just use one for a template. Where's my little? Okay, that's gonna fit perfect. And then I wanna cut them off about right there. There we go. And all those short pieces I just lay over there, I don't throw those away. Do not. Okay, we're just going to grab a sheet for a little template, and then we'll start cutting some of these. I do have scissors somewhere. Because we'll use all of these little short pieces to make some short ones. Let's see, that needs to go over there. This one, we can put that in there. I love dyed papers in these. 
that's a good piece to stamp on so I wouldn't throw that away another good piece to stamp on okay let's go ahead and just insert some of that in there and I probably don't need that much let's go ahead and tear that apart and I won't put them back to back either I'll, I'll, I'll put two in there but I won't put them together so we'll use that this is just a piece of a digital where I had torn something out and had this left over. So we're going to cut right down through there and then right across the bottom. Alright. I do need to trim those white edges off though. Digitals are, if you print them on regular copy paper, they're really good for this because they're just thin enough and if they're if they don't have a big print on them they work well for this and see this one you could do all kinds of writing on that this one is from Betty I do believe oh and I wanted to tell you guys all of you will have a Betty original in your kits this month in your June kits she graciously can, um, well, I wanted to say she graciously volunteered, but I don't know if she volunteered. No, she did volunteer. She volunteered to do the digital for me for the June kits just because I was running so far behind on everything. And she does digitals much better than I do anyway. So... Her digital is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait till you guys see it. We printed it, one, for you, but then you will have access if you would like to print more. You'll have access to that PDF file. So, therefore, I want y'all to go over and check out her Etsy store because she did that. She didn't charge me anything. Of course, I'm going to pay her. But she she told me no, she wasn't going to charge me a penny, but we will definitely pay her. But you guys go over and purchase some things from her from her Etsy store because she is a sweet, sweet lady. And don't forget to watch her YouTube channel too. She has got fantastic tutorials on there. I'll leave her YouTube link below. You guys need to go over and subscribe to her. She has got some fantastic um Video, did I say digital? She's got fantastic videos on there and a lot of tutorials on using the um, Photoshop and making digitals and things like that. So anybody that's wanting to make digitals, you need to go over there and check her out. Because I am learning so much from her. You know, I was I'm just self-taught. I don't I've never and I think she is too, but she's much smarter than I am. But um I have never had any kind of training or anything in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator or anything like that. So I, I'm still not real good at it, but Betty is. Betty is fantastic at it. So go over and check her out. I don't know if that's the one I was going to put that in or not, but I think that will work. Yeah, and I think that's going to be enough too, but I'm not going to put these two together. I'm going to move this one on back here somewhere. Okay. Oh, there's more paper. I knew I had more paper somewhere. All right. So all you need to do is make sure you get one end nice and flush like that. Nice and flush. And then go ahead and put your bead of glue down through there. This may end up being a really long video. I'm not making these very fast. I'll try to cut out parts that, you know, I know that you guys already know how to do, that I, you don't need to watch again. But we'll put a couple together here in a minute, and then I may put more together off camera, and then we can do a little bit of embellishing to them tomorrow, maybe. Okay, there's that. So then I'm going to clip it right there, and clip it right there. And then we'll put it with, let's see, I think it's that one that it went with. And we will put it somewhere over there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to put one more together. 
or cut the papers for one more and then after I do that then what we'll do is we'll start putting some of these together and I don't do a lot of decorating to these because basically these are in there to take notes on but I do put a little bit of embellishments on there so now I just marked that paper where I want it cut and I'm going to go ahead and cut that and then I need to mark the length so we want to cut it off about right there I like to cut it back a little ways from the bottom especially since I did round those corners so I'm going to go ahead and mark a few of these papers that way I don't think my trimmer will cut all of them at once so I may not even cut this many Ooh, come on trimmer you can do it uh, yeah it did all right I tend to um, put my tools to the max <laughs> with my says if you take better care of those tools they last a whole lot longer I take care of them I just you know I take shortcuts with them and I know you probably shouldn't do that but that's just me all right so we've got those then let's go ahead and grab some of this and let's see that I think no that goes here let's see what we want to do with this I've got this folded so I'm just gonna cut off that little fold there you may hear my stomach growling I'm so hungry um, okay now just gonna make sure that we don't get it too long all right I'm gonna grab some more uh, dyed paper because we need some on there now I also got a package from Betty and I haven't shown it because I really haven't done happy mail yet but I want to show you something now prepare yourself prepare yourself this is Betty from Betty's custom designs she crazy she is so crazy I opened that package up and I was looking at this side and my husband was on the other side of the my desk and he said oh my goodness and I said what is it he said look what she sent you she sent me lots and lots of material too look at that how pretty and this these are what are these Betty these are stitched Oh, they're stitched together. How cute. We'll have to go through that when I go through all of her package. I, like I said, I haven't gone through everything yet. But I did see this, and I wanted to use some of this in here. I don't know where this came from, but it's like an old vintage uh, notebook. So I'm going to use some of that in there. But she's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Okay. I'm just going to pull out these little pieces that I can't do anything else with but stamp on. And I'll put those over here. So excuse me just a second. I'll cut this part out probably. I've got some of those pulled out. So I am going to use just a piece of this. Kind of mark my template here. Oh, and that's going to make two pieces. That's nice. All right, let's use our template. And I think I'm gonna save some of those for some of the smaller ones. These look like about the right size, and they are. So I may only make one or two more pieces for this one. This is gonna be kind of thick here. All right, let's see what we've got, how thick this is already, before we go any further. And you can go through here and separate all of these and, you know, put them in some sort of an order if you want to. I usually just put mine together, truthfully. Truth be known, I usually just stick them together. Okay. All right. I think I might put that on the front. That's one that I stamped on. Let's 
see what that's going to look like. Uh, I don't remember which one I was using for this. Did I use this one? Oh, it's not really going to be wide enough. Which one did I use, guys? This one? I kind of like that one with it, so I think we'll use that one. But I am going to have to trim off just a tiny bit here. Give it a little shave. That one right there is a little bit wide. Now let's look at it. Oh, that one might been might have been the one that was wide. Yes, it was. We'll give that one a little shave. Now let's try it. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little long. So, it'll be a little long for that one. See, if it, it will fit this one. I think that's the one I actually measured in the first place. You know, I'm just going through life in my own little world. Alright, I'm just kind of centering them up like that. And I'm going to trim this a little bit off. Now we got it, I think. Okay, let's let me get these in nice and flush. That looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect because this glue is going to hold it if you get it down in there. But just get them as flush as you can. Okay, glue stand up. Okay, the sun has not come out this whole week, I don't think. We've had just a like a short break in rain, and then it'll start raining again. So this has been a rainy, rainy week. My grandkids are not happy. So they want to swim, and their mom won't let them as long as it's raining and thundering. So <laughs> they haven't been happy campers. Okay. That's going to work right there. So we're going to clip that together. Like that. And lay that one aside with that. Alright, let's go back to the first one that we made. It should be nice and dry by now. This one. And we've got this. Let's see if it's dry. Yeah, it's still a little bit damp, but it's okay to put in here. All right to put together so I do think I'm going to trim a little bit of this bottom off just a tiny bit just so that it won't be too much sticking out down there so I'm just going to stick it in there like that and then I'll just round that those corners again now, if these were mine and I were keeping all of these, I would ink mine. But I'm not going to ink them because I know there's some of you guys out there that don't particularly care for the ink, and that's fine. There's not a problem with that whatsoever. So I'm not going to ink these. And on the bottom, if there's any that are as long as where the corner goes there, I just go ahead and trim that off. All right, now let's figure out how we want to put this together. I think I'm going to put this together by running a little string through it. So I'm just going to make sure that that is tucked up there at the top as close as you can get it. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and ugh, I'm going to go ahead and clip it. I can't talk. Go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and clip on the sides like that. Just looking at it, making sure that it looks pretty good. Then I'm going to get my crocodile that's got all the little pieces of paper in it. No, I never clean this out either. No, I do. I clean it out once a year, at least. Oh, we're going to have to kind of force this in there, and that's okay. So I am going to go down about right there. I'm just using my little thing there. I'm going to 
on the side that little screw that sits that and I'm gonna punch a hole in that and then we're gonna go over here about to the same spot I'm gonna come in about right there I think that looks about the same and I'm gonna punch a little hole right there okay now what we're gonna do is take some twine and I'm gonna use some of this twine this is the twine that came in your May kits I do believe this is a nice thick twine and you can separate this twine too um, when Melina said you know it mom it, that stuff is thick I didn't realize when I bought it it was so thick well you can separate it into smaller pieces if you want you know you, it frays real well and then you can just pull it apart it's almost like a baker's twine that there's different layers there so you can pull it apart and separate it if you don't like this thick one but this thick is going to be really good for this now you can use ribbon you can use seam binding you can use baker's twine whatever you have you can use lace lace would be pretty on here but I'm just going to use probably some different things I'll probably use some that are to put together like this and then some of them I will probably put together with seam binding and lace and now what I'm going to do is tie a double knot I just wanted to make sure that I had that nice and tight there first A double knot and pull that nice and tight and then from there what we're going to do is I'm going to center this up as best I can and then I'm going to tie a little bow the double knot is just to keep it from coming apart if you accidentally untie the bow then it's not going to come apart on you And you guys know my bow tying skills is not what they should be. So <laughs> when you get one of these, if you want to tie your bow differently, you just help yourself. <laughs> I may even get Melina to tie them for me. Now, what I was talking about, you can fray these on the ends. And I think they look so cute when they're frayed. I just take them and twist them back and forth. And it tends to fray them. Not fray them, but it separates them. And I think that makes it look really cute like that so there is one finished ready to go and you can just you know you write your little note if you want to tear these out just hold this down and tear and that that should help you tear it nice and straight so there is one all right that one's finished let's go to the next one I think not sure I think this one's the one I put together next was it or was it not yeah it's it's okay we can use it now this one has oh I wanted to put something else on this too I wanted to put something else on the front I think I love that on there but I wanted to embellish it a little bit more and you know what I'm going to embellish it with just a butterfly or this is just some ephemera that I haven't put away yet and I, I have used it so much I may not put it away hmm. I don't know I may not put anything on this one since it has the Eiffel Tower on there there's not a lot of pieces that's gonna go with it okay let's just leave that one for now we will go ahead and do this one now this one I've got that on the front or I can have this on the front and I think I'm gonna have the solid paper on the front and have that on the back so I think we'll do that one like that now this one is more of the width that you need you need a quarter of an inch overall this needs to be a quarter of an inch narrower and if you want to tear them that's fine but just make sure that they're about an eighth of an inch on both sides difference in there in them than the backing so that they don't uh, go over okay how are we going to put this one together do we want to put a string through it too Ooh, this one's nice and thick I don't know if my 
I may have to find my big bite. I don't even know where it is. It's still packed away in who knows where. Let's see if we can. Oh, look at that. It went through. Coming back was not the nicest, but it went through. Okay. Let's see if I can eyeball it. All right, let's try that. I'm putting everything to the test. My wrist, everything. <laughs> no. I put it on the table so it didn't hurt my wrist. Okay, I've got this one a little bit in too far, but that's okay. When we tie the ribbon on there, I don't think you're going to know. Hopefully you won't. Anyway, I'll go ahead and clip that while I get some ribbon. Okay, since that's a coffee piece there, I'm just going to do a little piece of this seam binding that was sent to me. And I've got to order more of this. I love this crinkled seam binding. I think I've told you guys where it's from. I haven't been to her store, but um, this was sent to me by a sweet subscriber, so I'm sure she has purchased from them since she sent this to me. Okay, let's put this one through this side. And if you have a little bit of a hard time getting it through, I just use my pokey tool that I don't know where it is right now. But just use your little tool to push that on through there. Mm, this is going to be so cute. And I think I really like for them to be put together like this as much or more than I do the other way. And when I say the other way, that's, you know, either stitching them or just gluing them. You've just got a little bit more of an embellishment on the top. And let's see what I can do with that. Don't judge me on my bows, please. Like I said, I'll get Melina to tie them pretty <laughs> before we put them in anything. That is cute. See, I love seam binding, especially seam binding that's been crinkled. Isn't that cute? All right, let's, and I'll tell you again where this comes from. This comes from uh, my scrap cabin shop. Let's see if I can take that apart so you can see it. And she puts the name on the back of it too. My scrap cabin shop. That's where it comes from. Now, we have seam binding, but I don't have it crinkled. Because as you know, to do crinkle seam binding, you have to wet it and then let it dry while it's all crinkled up. And I just don't have time for that. <laughs> I can show you how to do it if you want to buy some of our seam binding and do that for yourself. I can definitely show you how, but I don't have time to do it myself. I wish I did. I wish, wish, wish I did. That's a little bit big, but that would be cute. Um, let's see. Well, you know, it takes people to drink coffee or tea, doesn't it? So we could put her on there. She would be cute. You can also go in and put, you know, a stamp. You could stamp something on the front of these if you wanted. Now, right here on this edge, I'm going to trim just a tiny bit of that off. That back paper is a little bit wider than the front. I have to grab the little ones. There we go. Okay, so there is that one. Isn't that cute? All right, let's do another. This one should be dry enough. Oh, I see what I did. Look, I've got that upside down on there. So I'm not going to leave that sheet on there. So I'll show you how these come off, how easy. They just come off like that. I will... Hmm. I won't put it back on there. I'll put it on another one. I'm just going to leave that on the front of that. Isn't that pretty? If you dyed this paper for me, can you message me or email me and let me know how you did this? This is so pretty. I want more. 
uh, I've almost used all of this up and I keep trying not to use it but the more I try not to use it the more I use it because <laughs> it's so pretty and I know it's probably I don't know flowers or something you put on there I don't know but it's it's wonderful and you need to be selling it on Etsy or somewhere okay I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole in this this one is a little bit thicker, so just make sure that you pull that little top piece back so it doesn't flatten it out. Oh, I might have broke my little tool that time. Maybe not. I would get my big bite because it would go through here with no problem, but it is stored away still. I don't know where. You know, we've still got things in storage that we haven't been able to pull back out yet because we just haven't had time okay let's see I'll try to get this one a little bit more even than the last one maybe right there okay oh yeah that'll work Getting all these little giblets everywhere. Okay, so we'll put that down like that. So what do we want to use on this one? I don't think I have any red seam binding. Let me find some lace. Okay, I don't seem to have any, <clears throat> excuse me, red over there. So I'm going to use this. This is, again, Something one of you guys sent me. It's very, very pretty. I think this is going to look cool on there. I brought the blue over, but that this did not have blue in it once I got over here. Don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Put that on that side. This is going to be probably too long for this, but you know what? It will be okay. We will either use a little piece across the bottom or just trim it off and use it for something else. So let's see. I think that's all that we're going to need right there. So I'm going to pull that back through just a little bit and I'm going to trim it right there. We've got enough of a piece for something else. Okay. Now, with this lace, you do need to tie a double knot and you need to make sure that you tie it nice and tight because your lace is going to give a little bit. There we go. And then I'll tighten a little bow. Someone told me that the reason I couldn't tie bows well was because I was going around the, the little rabbit ear there the wrong way well i've tried going the other way and i just don't have any luck i've tried going this way and i can't make my hands do that see it just kind of falls apart but don't worry like i said melina ties wonderful bows and she will tie all of these bows for everybody i know how to, to tie shoe bows and tie my kids shoes do all those necessary things but when it comes to tying a bow on something like this my bows tend to try to go upside down all right that's as good as that's going to get for right now so we're going to leave that and then i'm going to put a little bit of something here not much just probably a little piece of oh me i just saw this pop up there a little flower like that um what did i do with my little pokey tool does anybody see it do you see it that's not you is that you that's not you well i'll grab another one because i don't know what where that one went i think i might have dropped it in the floor okay That's cute. I'm going to cut these little ends at an angle. Like that. And 
there you go. There's another one. Isn't that cute? All right, that may be... I think that's all I'm going to do in this video. We will probably come back tomorrow and we'll do more or maybe the next day. I think tomorrow I've got lots of other things that I need to do. But um, I need to do some catching up on my Marguerite Miller challenge. But we could do that. We could do our Marguerite Miller challenge. And then after the challenge, which it won't take me probably but 15 minutes to do the page. And then we could make more of these. And I may even make some that are sideways that go this way out. We'll make some different ones. So let's do that. And, uh, you know, we got three done today. But that's cutting everything and, you know, starting basically from scratch. We've already got a bunch of covers cut now. So tomorrow all we'll need to do is cut these. And I may go ahead and cut a lot of paper beforehand because I've got lots of scrap paper. Cut it beforehand and then we'll just be able to put them together and decorate them up. And I think that will be cute. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.